Uh, another fine day of fishing. Hey, buddy, you want to buy some pills? Real cheap, good shit. Come on, man. Come on, like, 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 ten leaves, ten leaves, man. Come on, come on, you want to buy some pills? Come on. Get off my property. Hey, man, come on. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, man, whoa, it's all good, it's all good. Hey, man, thanks for the no, ride. No, not my boat. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> hey, you expect me to have another boat? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey how's it going guys in today's video we are showcasing this house that i built and it's a decent house it's a nice residential two-story and uh yeah i built a little well right here hey <laughs> hey right, well uh yeah dude this thing looks awesome thank you like you were working on it pretty much all of last night and this morning but uh, let's take a look, man. I'm excited to see what's going on inside. I noticed you got a little cheap treehouse out there. I know. I've even got a little mailbox right here. Looks pretty accurate. All right, guys. So heading inside right here, we have our living room. We got, you know, two recliners and two sofas. You know, it's a nice big room, so you could have a game night thing going on. I like how you made a table out of, like, a whole bunch of benches. That's actually really cool. I just now noticed Yeah, that. yeah. Payne actually showed me that because in our living room tutorial... I just used a regular table, and I said it was too high for a coffee table. So Payne just showed me that, and I thought it was a really great idea for a coffee table. Nah, man. Like, that's really cool. Good on you, General Payne. Anyway, heading outside, we have a nice wraparound patio. And as you can see, it gives us a nice little place so we could view the kids playing out here in the front yard. Make sure, you know, no creepy guys are hanging out behind the fence line. <laughs> Possibly trying to sell them pills at a really good price. <laughs> Ten leaves. They have ten leaves, man. That's a good. That's a good deal right there. All right, let's check out the dining room slash kitchen, man. Yeah. Where is it? Right here. Yeah. Yep. So we have a little kid table. As you can see, they uh they're learning perfect posture, so they don't have chair backs to lean back on. And then we have a double wide table, so, you know, able to hold six. Still nice. One of our classic staple Civo uh, kitchens. Nice and big. Plenty of workspace, sinks. Oven, all that jazz. This is like overkill, to be honest, for a house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, especially a house this size. Uh, heading through here, we have a study. As you can see, we got a nice little L-shaped desk. A little place for the kids to work on their homework when they can stare at the window and dream about playing in the treehouse. Yep. And then a nice little reading corner so you can sit here, have all your books up on the shelf, stuff like that. Moving back here, we have our storage closet, and as you can see, it's full of a bunch of storage shelves and a couple skin racks, weapon racks, stuff like that. Things you're just going to need to, uh, you know, store for this big old house. And heading back here, we have our entrance to the basement, so we can clear up anything that's going on down there. And we also have a washer and dryer. <laughs> I believe there's a bathroom down here, but I skipped it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know This is our downstairs bathroom. So, uh... Downstairs bathroom, you know, you've got your toilet. I, re I really take pride in this toilet. <laughs> and a sink and a shower. Uh, usually houses don't have a downstairs shower, but this one does. All right, guys, so heading upstairs, we can see that Civil made a nice use of the angled walls and things like that. This is pretty much the living quarters, and it also holds one bathroom. So it's, what, three bedrooms and a master bedroom? Uh, Two bedrooms and a master bedroom. Okay. All right, well, you want to just pick any bedroom at random? Uh, let's check out the uh, master bedroom first. Uh, right. So in here we have uh, a bathroom for, you know, of course, the master bedroom. Uh, I forgot to put a sink in this counter, but, you know, it's got a toilet, a bathtub, uh, you know, two shower heads. You've even got the little knobs to turn on the hot water, the cold water. Uh... Over here we have the walk-in closet, you know, you've got a skin rack so you can put all your delicate clothes, uh, some armor racks so you can choose out your next daily outfit, and some shelves so you can put your folded clothes, and there's pills right there. Real cheap, man, ten leaves. Ten leaves. <laughs> um, anyways, we've got our king-size bed, a chair right next to that, a uh, table facing a wall, so you can just sit right here, you know, I don't, I don't know what this table's for. Anyways, we've got a desk right here so you can sit down, do your work, uh, 
If you could have a laptop right here, I would have put it right there, but you can't. Anyways, hanging out this door, we have our upstairs patio. As you can see, it's more of a family get-together area. We have a nice table for the adults, another children's table, and two chairs just sitting out looking at the uh, front property. So, you know, you could have a couple beers, hanging out with your uh, friends and stuff like that, and still keep an eye on the children. But uh, speaking of children, let's go look at their rooms. So, heading into the children's room, as you can see, we have a nice twin-size bed. A really, really big desk for a child. But uh, at least I can do all their schoolwork and stuff like that. Here we have a smaller version of the walk-in closet. As you can see, we have a little place for them to keep their shoes, a rack, and a little armor stand for their clothes for the next day. And then that's pretty much it. They have a little tiger board if they want to, you know, throw a ball or a spear or something. Something child appropriate. <laughs> Heading into this room, it's pretty much exactly the same, except for this kid has a couch in here. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, he can entertain way more friends. I, mean, I guess they're going on the who's the favorite system in this house. <laughs> and heading in back here, we have a very tight yet efficient bathroom. So, we have our bathtub right here, our toilet, and our uh, counter with no sink, apparently. Because that's how we roll upstairs. <laughs> anyway, let's go back outside and just take a look around the property because this place looks awesome. So looking at the front of the property, you can see we have a nice little stone archway covering up all the big holes in the roof. And we also have just a whole bunch of different angles going on here. We have angles on the patios, uh, archway above the door, angles around the side. It's just really nice. And we even have a stick fence to, you know, keep our property nice and safe. No one else can get in here. You can also see underneath the house, there's not too much going on, but that's primarily for going under and cutting trees and stuff like that that grow through. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. We just wanted to go ahead and show off this house that Civil built because it is incredible. Anyway, there's a link in the description if you want to download this world and check it out yourself. But other than that, like the video if you liked it, get subscribed if you're new here, and leave a comment if you have anything to say about this house because, like I said, it's incredible. Anyway, we'll catch you on next time. Peace out.